the Holy Quran of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Drew Ali, by the guiding of his father God Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father God Allah. 1926 Reproduction. Chapter 1 The Creation and Fall of Man. Time never was when man was not. If life of man at any time began, a time would come when it would end. The thoughts of Allah cannot be circumscribed. No finite mind can comprehend things infinite. All finite things are subject unto change. All finite things will cease to be because there was a time when they were not. The bodies and the souls of men are finite things and they will change, yea. From the finite point of view, the time will come when they will be no more. But man himself is not the body nor the soul. He is a spirit and a part of Allah. Creative fate gave to man, spirit man, a soul that he might function on the plane of soul, gave him a body of flesh that he might function on the plane of things made manifest. Why did creative fate give to spirit man a soul that he might function on the plane of soul? Why did creative fate give to soul a body of flesh that he might function on the plane of things that are made manifest? Hear now, ye cherubim, ye seraphim, ye angels, and ye men. Hear now, O protoplast, and earth, and plant, and beast. Hear now, ye creeping things of earth, ye fish that swim, ye birds that fly. Hear how winds that blow, ye thunders, and ye lightnings of the sky. Hear now, ye spirits of fire, of water, earth, and air. Hear now, O everything that is or was, and evermore will be. For wisdom speaks from out the highest plane of spirit life. Man is a thought of Allah. All things of Allah are infinite. They are not measured up by time. For the things that are concerned with time begin and end. The thoughts of Allah are the everlasting of the past unto the never ending days to come. And so is man, the spirit man. But like every thought of Allah was but a seed, a seed that held within itself the potencies of Allah, just as the seed of any plant of earth holds deep within itself the attributes of every part of that a special plant. So spirit man as seed of Allah held deep within himself the attributes of every part of Allah. Now seeds are perfect, yea, as perfect as the source from which they come. But they are not unfolded into life made manifest. The child is as perfect as the mother is. So man, the seed must be deeply planted in a soil that he might grow, unfold, and does the bud unfold to shout, show the flower. The human seed that came forth from the heart of Allah was full ordained to be the Lord of the plane of soul. And of the plane of things made manifest. So Allah, the husbandman of everything, a pace and man became a living soul. And he became the Lord of all plane and the soul is but the ether of the spirit plane vibrating not so fast and in the slower rhythm of this plane. The essence of life are are manifest, the perfumes and the odors, the true sensation and all of love manifest. And these soul attributes became a body beautiful, a multitude of lessons man must learn upon the plane of soul. And here he tarries many ages until his lessons are all learned upon the boundary of the plane of soul. There he must overcome, yea, overcome them every one. Essences took on the, a final garb. 
the perfumes and odors and the true sensations and all of the love, all of love were clothed in flesh and man was clothed in flesh. Perfected man must pass through all the ways of life. And so a carnal was full manifest, a nature that sprang forth from fleshy things. Without a foe, a soldier never knows his strength and thought must be developed by the exercise of strength. And so this carnal nature soon became a foe that man must fight, that he might be the strength of Allah made manifest. Let every living thing stand still and hear. Man is the Lord of all the plane of manifest or protoplast of mineral, of plant, of beast. But he given up his birthright just to gratify his lower self. But man will, regra will regain his lost estate, his heritage, but he must do it in a conflict that cannot be told in words. Yet he must suffer trials and temptations manifold. But let him know that cherubim and seraphim that rule the stations of the sun and spirit of the mighty Allah who rule the solar stars are his protectors and his guide and they will lead to victory. Man will be fully saved, redeemed, perfected by the things he suffers on the plane of flesh and on the plane of soul. When man has conquered carnal things, his garb of flesh will then have served its purpose well and it will fall, will be no more. Then he will stand unrammeled on the plane of soul where he must full complete his victories. Unnumbered foes will stand before man upon the soul, upon the plane of soul. There he must overcome, yea, overcome them every one. Thus hope every be his beacon light. There is no failure for the human soul, for Allah is leading on and victory is sure. Man cannot die. The spirit man is one with Allah. While Allah lives, man cannot die. When man has conquered every foe upon the plane of soul, the seed will have opened out, will have unfolded in the holy breath. The garb of soul will then have served its purpose well, and man will never need more. And it will pass and be no more, and man will then attain unto the blessedness of perfectedness and at one with Allah. Chapter 1, The Creation and Fall of Man, the Holy Quran of the Moorish Temple of Science, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Drew Ali, by the guiding of his father Allah, God, by the guiding of his father God, Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father God, Allah.